Welcome back to automotive territory. In this episode, we'll be departing on yet another nostalgia trip, exploring the most exciting retro-styled models of today, as well as the best restoration and continuation projects, which are usually reserved for the most sophisticated private collections. It is time to get ready to treat the car design connoisseurs within you. But before we get to the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and enjoy the ride! Rolls-Royce Boat Tail Rolls-Royce is light years away from being called a mass-market brand, but with this exclusive creation, the company reaches new heights in coach building. The Boat Tail was developed during a four-year-long cooperation with three of the company's closest clients, who were involved at all stages of the process. The resulting car is a two-door convertible that measures 232 inches in length and has a yacht-inspired rear end. Built on the architecture of luxury platform, the car sources the 6.75-liter twin-turbo V12 from the Phantom, gets all of its safety systems, but at the same time features over 1,800 new components. The only unit revealed for now also gets a completely bespoke cabin with a unique bow V clock and hidden modern tech. Its rear also houses a set for dining al fresco. There is an extending umbrella, two carbon fiber stools, and two fridges. Chimera 037 Constructed by Lancia and designed by Pininfarina, this 037 is a 1980s model that was offered both as a dedicated rally car and a road legal sports car. This year, it is being reimagined by the Italian Chimera Automobili. The model keeps the overall Lancia look, but sits on a heavily modified chassis, fitted with tubular subframes, new adjustable Allens dampers, and wider wheels with four-piston Brembo brakes. The body of the Chimera 037 is built using 3D scanning and CAD, while the entire construction uses such modern materials as carbon fiber, Kevlar, titanium, and machined aluminum. The creators decided to keep the Lancia's 2.1-liter four-cylinder with the original dry sump block, though the rest of the mill is re-engineered to boost the output to 500 horses and 406 pound-feet. Inside, the 37-unit limited edition boasts a new handbrake, Delta S4 seats, and four-point racing harnesses. Touring Superleggera Aero 3 Based on the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta that was discontinued in 2017, this model debuts the most up-to-date interpretation of the styling created by the Milano-based coach builder Touring Superleggera. Its exterior harkens back to the 1930s race scene, when manufacturers were not afraid to experiment with different aerodynamic features. The first thing that strikes the eye is a massive fin that stretches from the roof to the tail of the car. The front end boasts a trapezoidal central grille and a pair of hard-edged air intakes reminiscent of Alfa Romeo's. Under the hood, there is a Ferrari 6.3-liter V12 matched with a 7-speed dual clutch. The naturally aspirated mill turns out 740 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque, all transferred to the rear wheels. Mitsuoka Rockstar The Japanese automobile manufacturer Mitsuoka has a certain affinity for classic American and British cars, so the company's roster is full of vehicles that were designed to follow styling cues of the most prominent icons of the times long gone. The Rockstar combines the fourth-generation Mazda Miata chassis with exterior design of the 1960s Corvette. Its pointy front looks almost exactly like the C2, but gets tiny round headlights instead of the hidden units. There are also four round taillights, arched fenders, and muscle car-style wheels with BF Goodrich rubber. The company offers 30 unique colors for the Rockstar, each named after an American city. Mechanically, not so much has changed. So, the 1.5-liter Sky Active engine from the MX-5 continues to produce 132 horses. Same is true for the interior that greets you with a Mazda infotainment, a new leather trim, and a few added badges. Opel Manta GSC Electro Mod Attempting to popularize their latest electro crossover Maka e Opel reimagines its classic sport coupe. The retrofit begins with a 1970s Manta A that was gutted and its four-cylinder replaced with a powerful front-mounted electric motor. 
It makes 147 horses, which is 45 HP more than the original gasoline engine. The motor is paired with a modified 4-speed transmission that can be either shifted manually or switched directly to the fourth gear to drive automatically. A 31 kWh battery promises 125 miles and can be recharged at the maximum rate of 9 kW. The iconic black bonnet of the Manta is additionally highlighted with a high-tech visor LED grille with running lights which can display messages. The interior houses special sports seats with a yellow decor, an old digital cockpit with 12 and 10-inch screens, and Bluetooth audio with a Marshall amplifier. Smash the like button if you want to watch more videos covering retro cars, and stay tuned till the end to help our channel grow. Let's keep going! Jaguar Classic E-Type 60 Collection Modern Jaguars might have an unsure footing in the luxury segment, but their continuation projects remain universally craved by the collectors. The latest limited edition celebrates 60 years since the first hand-built 77RW E-Type Roadster was presented at the Geneva Motor Show alongside the 9600HP. Despite the passing of 60 years, the duo remains close and will be released in six matching pairs with exclusive styling. The coupes are strictly offered with a flat-out grey paintwork and smooth black leather interior, while the roadsters get unique drop-everything green paintwork and suede green leather trim. Even though these jacks keep the original 265hp 3.8-liter six-cylinder XK engine, its construction was enhanced with a manual 5-speed transmission, polished stainless steel exhaust, upgraded cooling pack, LA radiator, an electric cooling fan, and electronic ignition. Lastly, each unit gets road to Geneva engravings, 60 edition detailing, 24 karat gold horn button, and tailor-made accessories. Many remastered Ocelli edition To celebrate the 60th anniversary of the British icon, the UK David Brown Automotive launches the performance-focused version of the company's rebuilt and fully restored classic Mini. Design-wise, the model is distinguished by exclusive LED headlamps, new black bumpers, two bespoke colors, plus three livery and interior styles. Developed in collaboration with a race specialist from Ocelli, the car has the BMC A-Series four-cylinder engine with displacement upgraded from the stock 1275cc to 1450. The engine also gains new crankshaft, performance camshaft, and a duo of SU carburetors, which helps the four-pot to squeeze 125 horsepower and 113 pound-feet. The output is transferred to the front wheels through a limited-slip differential and a new five-speed gearbox. To cope with the additional horses, the sporty Rasto mod is equipped with the AP racing brakes, Bilstein suspension, and a free-flowing exhaust system. Morgan Plus 4 Not without periods of financial troubles and frequent changes of ownership, the UK Morgan Motor Company continues its tenure of manufacturing bespoke automobiles that has lasted since 1910. Just like the founding Morgan family still holds a minority stake in the business, the cars keep their purest CX generation abundant aluminum architecture with wood elements for framing the body shell. The Plus 4 and 6 models are the latest Morgans to see the world and to get equipped with the BMW's twin power turbo inline 4 and inline 6. The engines respectively peak at 258 and 335 horsepower. The former can be optioned with a 7 speed manual transmission, but the 8 speed automatic is a more common option and allows to yield more torque. The Morgan's cabin is a combination of hand trimmed leathers and wood veneers but the occupants can also enjoy optional heated seats with lumbar adjustment and a discreet and car audio system with Bluetooth. RML250 GT SWB Targeting the most discerning car enthusiasts, the UK-based motorsports and engineering company will build 30 copies of their brand new RML short wheelbase. Inspired by Ferrari 250 GT SWB from 1959, the car gets a full carbon fiber bodywork, a chip cutter front grille, classic air vents behind the wheel arches, and stacked dual taillights. 
The cabin is set to accommodate drivers up to 6 feet and 6 inches tall, and it should be equipped with such modern amenities like an infotainment with Apple CarPlay integration and satellite navigation, electrically adjustable front seats, air conditioning, and cup holders. The epitome of the Ferrari DNA is the original 5.5-liter V12 from Maranello that delivers 484 horsepower and 419 pound-feet of torque, transferred to the rear wheels through an open-gated 6-speed manual transmission. Mitsuoka Body Planned for a limited production run in 2023, the Body is Mitsuoka's first family crossover that is based on the underpinnings of the current generation Toyota RAV4. The model's exterior has a 1970s vibe and is reminiscent of the second-generation Blazer K5. Its front houses a wide grille, a huge chrome bumper, and rectangular headlights with modern LED units. The 18-inch steel wheels have 1980s design and are wrapped in all-terrain TA tires. Instead of getting a huge V8 powertrain, the SUV keeps the RAV's 4 2-liter 4-cylinder with 171 horses and a CVT. Alternatively, you can opt for a 2.5-liter hybrid that is paired with two electric motors for a total output of 222 HP. Alpha Motors The Californian startup Alpha Motors has yet to unveil a single production-ready electric car based on their proprietary EV platform. But thanks to a torrent of conceptual designs, we already have a clear picture of how their entire lineup will look like beyond 2022. The retro-styled electric vehicles by Alpha include Ace and Ace Performance Coupes, utilitarian four-door crossover coupe Jax, and adventure-ready pickup trucks Wolf and Wolf Plus. Among the offered powertrains are single and dual motors with rear, front, and all-wheel drive layouts. 75 or 85 kWh battery packs should be sufficient to cover from 220 to 275 miles on each charge, with dynamic acceleration as fast as 4.6 seconds 0 to 60. The Alphas ride on 16 or 18 inch wheels with powerful wheel arches, squared LED headlights, and additional projectors on the select models. The interiors are minimalistic but get a modern vertical infotainment. As always, let's meet in the comment section and discuss today's lineup. Make sure to leave the suggestions for the future episodes as well. Smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory if you enjoy the most informative car top towns on YouTube, and watch more videos about the exotic autos by following the links on the screen. As always, may the torque be with you!